rgboyrgboy.com and today I'm going to present you two magnetic filters by Kef Concept and they also have a magnetic cap which is really interesting. So I'm going to show you results and quality. Let's start. Here I've got two models. One is on ND8 which is three stops and one is ND64 which is six stops. So you can use them uh, for video or for a uh, long exposure. So I'm going to show you some results and show you how you mount them. It's really practical. As every KF Concept uh, filters I've seen, it comes perfectly protected. It's a small box and you have three pieces. The first one is uh, a ring like this. You actually screw it on your lens or on another filter if you had already one on your, on your lens, okay? Then you have the ND filter that is here, okay? And then you have the magnetic cap. So you just place it like this. Uh, different, different from other magnetic system I've seen, this one I've thread here. So if you wanted to uh, thread another filter that has a thread, you could actually fix it on it. So it's perfect. So I'm going to show you how you mount it and the results. So how do you mount it? Well, really simple. Here's the ring, the, the empty ring. I screw it on the filter I've got here. If you don't have any filter, screw it directly on the, on the lens, obviously. Okay, that's it. Here I've got my ND filter, as you can see it's mag magnetic, it's placed, and here I've got the cap. If I want, I'll put the cap here, okay? So the question many people have is very often, does your original cap fit? Let's see, is my Olympus cap? Yes, it does. So why should I need that? Well, it's really simple. Uh, Sometimes you buy a larger filter because uh, you have several lenses, so you buy, you buy the larger size and you can use on several lenses. But then in this case, you could not cover uh, your lens with the original cap because it would be uh, the, lens, the cap would be too small for the size of the filter. So in this case, you could place the magnetic cap, and this way you can walk around all this, avoid uh, dust or whatever. It could be protected. So I think this is really brilliant. And something else I think is really interesting, I got no problem placing my original sun hood here, okay, as you can see. So for me, this is a winning product so far. So let's look at the quality. So what do you need ND filters for? Well, actually when you're doing a long exposure, you need to cut light, but also in video. So I'm going to do first an example with video. Normally you uh, use twice the speed, uh, shutter speed, of the, the amount of uh, image per second you want. For example, if you're on 25 frames per second, you want your shutter speed to be at 1 50th of a second. If you're on 24, one, on 148. If you're on 100 picture per second, you want 1 200. So sometimes it's impossible to cut light without closing a lot your, uh, your aperture, but sometimes you don't want to close the aperture because you want really wide aperture for whatever reason, okay? So here I'm going to show you an example. I'm on 200 ISO, which is the minimum for my Olympus. I have uh, on a uh, f8 I am and one four hundredth of a second. So I record here. So you see the waves there; they're a bit more shaky. Like here right now, I'm recording without any ND filters. You, dim, you see my hand is like shaky because the shutter speed is too high. Okay, so I stop, and now I'm going to place my ND8, which is three stops. So I can drop my speed from 1 400th of a second to 1 50th of a second. Okay, so let's record. So you probably see this is smoother. You see it easier, okay? So this is the idea to use an ND filter for this situation. Right now I'm on F8. If I was on 2.8, then my three stop would not be enough. I would use my six stop, okay? So uh, you can see the difference. Anyway, I show you a sample with my uh, an example with my hand like this. Here I'm on uh, took out the, the filter. I'm on one four hundredth of a second. So I move my hand. So you see that it's a bit shaky, okay? So look at it. And now I stop. I place the filter, three stop. Then I can drop to uh, from one four hundredth of a second to one fiftieth of a second. Okay, let's record. And now you see this is a lot smoother. Okay, maybe it's out of focus, doesn't matter. You see uh, the movement is smoother. So now I'm going to show you uh, long exposure. Well, long, we'll see, okay. So right now uh, it says I am on 
one five hundredth of a second f8 okay without filter so let's make the picture so you have an idea you see how it looks and now i'm going to place the filter six stop this one okay so if you don't know much about math it's really easy if your speed is in third like most cameras you just count one two three one stop one two three two stop one two uh three i think okay three stop one two three four stop one two three five stops one two three six stops so now i've got right exposure i get one eighth of a second so let's make the picture so it's not really long exposure this okay it's midday logically you would work more early morning or late afternoon okay but what you can also do as they are magnetic if you have both filters you can actually stack them so i'm going to put to place the nd3 so i drop the speed on other three three stops so one two three one stop one two three two stops one two three three stops so right now i'm on one second exposure so you do see a difference here okay let's wait for a wave to come it's not really wavy today not much wind but a bit of wind you can hear it but not much waves okay there's some extra one so that's it we've made a long exposure which is not that long because one second is not really long exposure but normally you don't make that kind of picture at midday but you come later or earlier but i wanted you to see the, the effect and the quality okay so i'm going to give you some technical information about this filter if you don't want to listen to it and already buy it i'll leave you a link in the description of my video where you can actually buy it so let's speak about the gear itself as I said, I've got two models, the ND8, three stops, and the ND64, six stops. Uh, this, the setting is, setup is really easy, as you see, it's really easy to install. There is a 16 layer coating on this. Uh, why? Because uh, it's treated anti-reflection and many other things. Many people forget that a bad filter is normally a reflection problem. If it's not properly treated, coated, in the back of the filter light comes in it bounces on the front lens of your lens and then you see it and you have some kind of echo so these are not as an anti-reflection treatment for that coating so it's really good it's also treated to avoid scratches grease drop of water sometimes it's raining and you have a drop just on top of your uh, just on, on your lens it stays there and you have to clean all the time on these filters you see the drop it just slides okay so this is really perfect for that i also like really much that there is a screw mount on it you have a thread so you can actually screw another filter i think this is really good to you can place another filter i think quality is really good so sometimes it sounds like i do advertisement for kf concept but i do not they are really kind to send me all the gear they have i can test it and always end up being a user of this gear also as you can see here i've got the tripod i re reviewed uh, from them i'll leave you the link here also the one that holds my iphone that is recording is also a tripod from them with a small magic plate to hold the, tri the, the iphone I always end up using all the gear they send me so uh, first if it was no good i would not recommend it but second for sure i would not use it and i recommend it and i use it so thank you very much kf concept for sending me this gear Thank you to you for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, the small button down here, and also a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericgibo.com. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below. I'll also leave you links of my gear on Amazon, links to all the gear I've reviewed by KF Concept and Sendmark, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.